to New Brunswick, one of Canada's maritime provinces. Here you could find just about everything found in Canada. There are mountains and flatlands, freshwater and saltwater, cities and wilderness, and French and English. It's often mistaken as a drive through province, but New Brunswick has a dynamic array of activities and experiences. And to show you guys what I'm talking about, here are the top five things to do in New Brunswick. Number five, visit the Acadian Historical Village. As Canada's only official bilingual province, New Brunswick is steeped in Acadian history. And there's no better place to learn about this history than at the Acadian Historical Village. Here, visitors can explore this living museum dedicated to showcasing the life of the Acadians during the 18 and 1900s. The village is comprised of original houses and buildings dating as far back as 1770. Inside each of the buildings are interpreters dressed from the time period and carrying out traditional duties. This is a wonderful experience that the entire family will enjoy. Number four, take a road trip. Whether you live in the province or you're visiting from out of town, going on a road trip is the best way to experience New Brunswick. The province is divided into five color-coded scenic drives. The Appalachian Range Route, the Acadian Coastal Drive, the Miramichi River Route, the River Valley Scenic Drive, and the Fundy Coastal Drive. The routes are easily navigated and clearly marked on the roadways, and each one offers unique sights and things to do. Number three drive or hike the Fundy Trail. Along the southern coast of New Brunswick is the Fundy Trail, a multi-use trail system that runs along the Bay of Fundy. Here you can drive or cycle the 19 kilometers paved roadway as it weaves its way along the towering Fundy Cliffs. If you want something a little slower, you can also hike the 10 kilometers of coastal pathways that take you right down to the ocean floor during low tide. Make a point to walk across the 84 meter suspension bridge crossing the Big Salmon River. Climb down a cable ladder and check out the 15 meter high Fuller Falls and pull over at the many observation lookouts to take in the incredible landscape. Guided walking tours are available or you can go it alone and explore the Fundy Trail at your own pace. Number two, live it up in one of New Brunswick's three main cities. If you love the bustling nature of a city, then head to one of New Brunswick's three main cities, Moncton, St. John, or the capital city of Fredericton. Moncton is the province's most populated city. Here, you can wander the streets and admire the colorful street art, experience your car rolling backwards up Magnetic Hill while it's neutral, or you can even sip wines made from fruits other than grapes at the Magnetic Hill Winery. St. John is Canada's oldest incorporated city. Located right on the shores of the Bay of Fundy, visitors can explore the historic streets filled with beautifully preserved architecture and contemporary bistros. You can wander the aisles at the city market, the oldest continuing farmer's market in Canada, and you can even marvel at the reversing falls, a natural phenomenon where it appears that the river is flowing backwards. On the banks of the St. John River is New Brunswick's capital city, Fredericton. The city has a small town feel, but offers a lot of outdoor fun. Here you can take a stroll across the Billthorpe Walking Bridge, participate in the changing of the guard ceremony in the historic Garrison District, try your hand at stand-up paddle boarding on the St. John River, and then finish your day off with a fresh glass of cider from the Red Rover Cider House. And the number one thing to do in New Brunswick? Explore the Bay of Fundy and the Hopewell Rocks. The Bay of Fundy and the Hopewell Rocks are one of the most visited sites in the Maritime Provinces. Visitors from across Canada and around the globe come here to witness the greatest tidal shift in the world. Twice each day, 160 billion tons of seawater flow in and out of the Bay of Fundy, creating tidal shifts as high as 11 to 16 meters. The flower pot rocks at Hopewell Rocks Provincial Park are the most iconic features of the Bay of Fundy, created over millions of years of erosion. During low tide, you could walk right on the ocean floor and even check out some of the sea caves. But once high tide rolls in, hop in a kayak and explore the exact spots you were just standing in earlier and get a different perspective of the landscape. 
So there you have it, my top five things to do in New Brunswick. But trust me, there are so many more experiences to be had here in the province that are great for all kinds of travelers. If you haven't yet already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date with all of my latest travel adventures. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon.